Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about another operator that is last operator. In the previous video, we have discussed about the first operator, right? The same scenario, it will be the last operator also, but it's a different thing. Instead of taking the first value, this last operator, what it will try to do is, it will try to take the last value. Now here, if you try to read the description, returns an observable that emits only the last item emitted by the source observable. So that means, the last item emitted by the source observable before the complete whatever the value it is emitted it will take that last value it optionally takes a predicate function as a parameter as as we already know same as first parameter what it will take first operator what it will take the same parameters it will take so this one it will take the function predicate function as a parameter in in which case rather than emitting the last item from the uh, source observable the resulting observer will emit the last item from the source observable that satisfies the predicate okay Hope you understood about this one. So, instead of taking the first value which satisfies the predicate, it will take the last value which satisfies the predicate. That is the thing it is that, that is the thing they are trying to explain us. Here, if you try to see the syntax of the last operator, last operator will take the predicate function, which takes the again the predicate function, takes the parameters of value and the index, and this one will have a uh, condition in such a way that it should return a return either true or false. And the second optional parameter that it is having is the default value. So if none of the values is matching here means then it will it will it will emit the value <coughs> uh, default value it will emit them. So that is the thing. Now here if you try to see the parameter predicate and the default value. So these both are optional. And if you try to see the return value is nothing but the uh, observable. So which emits the value the last item or another uh, uh, the last item which satisfies the predicate it will emit that value as an observable. Error. So, if none of the value is emitted, so for example, here in the last operator, if none of the value is satisfying means, then instead of instead of calling the complete, it will throw an error as same as the first operator, how it will do. So, here also it will throw an error if the observable completes before any next notification is sent. So, if it completes, the observable completes without sending any notification means, then it will throw an error callback. So, that is the thing. If you try to see the marble diagram here, we are having the source observable which is emitting the values a b and c and in for the source observable we have applied this last operator and this will be labeled only the c which is the last value that is emitted by the source observable and immediately it will call the complete it will throw an error if the source complete uh, without any notification this one already we have seen that if, we, if it does not emit any value with the last operator it will throw an error let us try to see the practical implementation of the practical implementation of the <coughs> last operator so i am creating a page in ggc pages slash last operator okay so this is the last operator now let's try to create now in the operators dot html what i will try to do is so sorry i have opened the wrong project this is the rxjs project so that what whatever the project we are creating let let try let us run the npm start Okay, it is running. So let it run. So now I am creating a ng gc pages slash last operator, right? We are working on so last operator. Let's go to the operators and let's add the router link here. Last and here I will add last. Okay. And if you go into the app routing dot module, so here we need to create last, and here I need to write last operator. So last operator. Let's take this one. Last operator. Oh, what happened? Last operator. Last operator. We are not getting or what? what happened to this one so we need to close it and open it i think so don't save and uh, open this app routing again yeah here i need to do last now we took last operator it's not coming why i don't know the so last operator component let's try to add last operator component here and let's import this one so here it will be something like last operator component okay and here it should be something like last and here 
last. So this one will be last operator component. I think hope this one satisfies. Yeah, now let's go to this TS file. And in this TS file, what I will do is so ng on init. So we have a values of something like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and I will subscribe to this one. So console.log of data. So here if I go to this off, so let's import this off. Yeah. So we have it. Now I want to apply the last operator. So if I try to apply this last operator, what will do? So last. So let's import this last also. Yeah. Now let's see the output. If I go here and if I try to refresh this page, let's see what will happen. Yeah, we got the last here. Let's click on the last. We got the output as 4. Now if you take here the another one, something like console.log error and the complete, same thing. So console.log complete it will take the last one and it will print the complete if you try to see here the same output so 4 and the complete same output you will be able to see now let's try to replicate this again and i will try to comment out this one for your reference now here if i take 1 2 3 comma 4 and I, we can also add a predicate so element element is greater than 6 so now i want to get the value which is element greater than 6 that also last element so if I try to see here, what could be the output? Let's try to see. If I try to see the output here, we are getting an error. As we already discussed that, so none of the ma value matches in the source observ observable. So it will throw an error. Now if I want to do something like element greater than 2 means, now we have 3 values, 2 values that are greater than 4, 3 and 4. So now what is the value it will be, it will be displaying is 4, 4 will be the output. Why? Because the last value so it will display the last it will give the last value that matches the condition now if you try to see the output it will be the 4 so this is the predicate function now none of the matches so for example if you try to see i have added 6 here so we are getting an error right now i want to pass something like sorry not here now i want to pass something like 10 so if none of the match match means so i need to get the 10 as the output if you try to see so this one will display the value 10 and complete okay so this is the last one. same as the first operator only it will be but instead of giving the first value it will give the last value so where whatever the so condition matches if it will give the last value or otherwise it will throw an error so if you provide a default value it will give you the default value if none of the value matches in the source observable so this is all about the last operator so hope you understood about this last operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also I have created a telegram uh, group for us. So if you have so I have seen so many people are posting comments uh, regarding the doubts and all those things asking in the comments. If you people have any doubts or any com uh, doubts or anything means any suggestions or anything means you can post it in the telegram group. So if I am not able to give the reply also some other people also if they know means they, they will be able to give the reply. So, so that we can exchange our knowledge and share and thoughts and all those like that. Okay. Thank you.